Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Donkey Kong 64. Last time we left off, we were in the castle. We just finished up the greenhouse. Oh god, I'm dying. No, okay. Honestly, I needed that to happen because it gets me a fresh start with the area. Um, what I have to do now is... I'm dying again, why? Oh, ah, okay, I'm alright. I guess that sort of helps, but in the end, I don't know what's worse. Dang it, Lanky's not long enough to get up there. It's disappointing, isn't it? Okay, so we're gonna head to the castle's rooms, finally. I'm sure all of you have been seeing those museum, the library on the clouds. I swear to God, the I know a lot of things like that, but all right, so I don't know where we should start, honestly, but I guess we could start off with Chunky. So Teleporter 3, I think, has the best bet of getting us to that area. Yeah, Teleporter 3 definitely is the closest one. So first we're going to punch this ghost. He's very spooky. He spooks. All right, so here we are, the Museum. That's the first time we've seen Chunky's new ground pound. Okay. So, Chunky obviously has a taste for the fine arts. Guys, we are in the museum, and it's actually kind of spooky. This doesn't look like much of a museum. What is this? Invisible glass? And there's a fairy in there. So this is the museum. Get out of here, you spooky. Well, at least we killed... Oh. Okay. Where's the balloon at? Do these have something to do with it? I don't really... Okay, that's not it. Uh... Is there a certain order I gotta hit him in? How do I get electrocuted by this thing? <laughs> this isn't really much of a museum, honestly. There's only like one room in here. And that completes Chunky's bananas for the level. Alright, all finished. I suppose that's good. Alright, uh, let's get out of this creepy museum now. Honestly, I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to be looking at this. Uh... Oh, you forget you, all right? All right, so we're going to head up farther up the castle, and there should be another castle room that we can enter. First, let's swap our character out, though, because we can't have Chunky entering other rooms. Chunky already got to visit the really, really disappointing museum. Seriously, this is my favorite level in the entire game. It's just really well designed. I wonder how much of this game's budget went onto, onto this, this level design. Okay. Wow, we don't have a lot of coconuts, do we? Okay, so here's the ballroom. And Diddy enters the ballroom, so. Uh, 
Oh, now that's just unfair and creepy. What's with the laughing in the background? Get out of here, you spooky, scary skeletons. A ditty barrel has appeared for killing all of the enemies who were very- we very rudely interrupted as they were obviously dancing. Alright, now it sounds like somebody's enjoying themselves a little too much. What? Tiny can enter the ballroom too? Alright, so we have 11 coconuts. Let's make this count, I guess. Alright, so we finally made it in there. Thank god. Welcome to bonus. Oh no, it's this mini game! The one with the minecarts, really? Oh god, kill me now. I like how they're trying to predict my movements, like, okay, I guess, good luck with that, but... Oh no, it did predict my movements! Oh god! <sighs> Welcome to bonus stage. This is gonna be a lot more annoying. They, they, these, the minecarts predict your movements, like, okay, uh... And I got friggin' sun blaring in my eyes, so it's kinda hard to see what's happening right now. Alright, so I'm looking at both of them, and I think I have a shot. No, I'm gonna die, 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 I'm gonna die! I was so close! I had to like, speed it up there, I was hoping I could get there. Yo, their, their, their AI is ridiculous. How do they know? It's just a TNT barrel on a minecart, but they know me. They know what moves I'm gonna make before I make it. It's gonna be really difficult to stand 60 seconds of this. At least it's not the damn beaver minigame. Oh my god, I've never seen something that's annoyed me that much before. Oh my god, oh my god, they're both here. I meant to leave, but I just didn't have the time for it. Okay, uh... This is honestly scaring me. 60 seconds with two TNT barrels over a pool of lava. Come on. I got really good the first time. Like, the first time I think was my best attempt, but... Okay, so I'm gonna speed up a little bit and... Okay, that's good. We got it, I think. I pressed down, why didn't it go down? Ah! I hate you. I had that one. I pressed down and it stepped it stayed on that track. Mm. Okay. I'm really positive about this. Honestly, I don't have much uh, much else to say about this mini game other than it's really frustrating.
You're kidding, right? Oh, minecart bullcrap. They predict you so well. Welcome to bonus stage. Alright, am I safe? Am I good? Can I go up and be alright with this? I'm trying to see if I can predict their patterns, but it's kinda difficult. Oh, I'm dead. Might as well just get it over with. That's frustrating, honestly. Ugh. Welcome to bonus day. I hate this mini game. They're so good at predicting you. I just I don't know. I mean, every time I get close, I get screwed by like a controller input or something. What? It just What? I didn't press right to go that way into it. I uh, uh. See controller inputs. Why does it do that? Ugh. I swear if half this video is me doing this mini game, I'm gonna be really sad. I do not want half the video to be th this mini game because I'm trying to have it spread out a bit here. Alright, so, we got it, I think. Am I gonna make it? I think I got it. Yeah, no, I got it this time. Okay, that was gonna piss me off. Stupid minecarts. Alright, Diddy's all good to go, aside from five regular bananas that I haven't collected. But I can always do that off screen, you get the idea. I mean, it doesn't say 100% let's play, so I'm free to skip what I want, even if I have been showing off everything. Okay, so we got we did all that. Now let's go get Tiny and re-enter the ballroom because there's more. There is more. So you Diddy, Tiny needs Diddy to enter the room, but they both have stuff to do in the ballroom, despite the weird creepy laughter playing in the background. can't see what I'm doing. Move! God, camera. Okay. Oh, Tiny teleported to a completely different room. There's a banana fairy in here. I think this is the last one here. There you go, you beautiful creature. She's just looking at the silo like dang. Alright, so... More teleportation. Alright, that's the end of that. What is this? Nothing really? Alright, so there is a little silo here. Our crystal coconut count is looking pretty good right now. Alright, so here's the end. What, are we in the factory again? No, oh, it's like a miniature version of it, and it's the race car again.
Alright, so we have to beat the go-kart with googly eyes again to get his shiny prize. Wow, that's a good way to start this off. Good thing I don't have any coins collected. We use controllers so weird to play on this with. What? I hit it again? Alright, I'm gonna restart this because I'm not having much luck here. And I'm somehow hitting the things right off the sides. I gotta get used to controlling a go-kart again. I mean, look at how much my cart jiggles. Uh, it's mostly because the Wii U controller is so funky. Wish there was an option to turn down the sensitivity, but how am I supposed to get in front of him? I guess I gotta cut sharp corners or something. I'm okay with missing a few because it seems like that's the only way we're gonna be able to beat him. Or I can explode and go off into the distance. Yeah, take that! Woo! Cheating to win! <laughs> I mean, come on, that's the only way to get in front of him, is you gotta skip a few of them. There's really nowhere you can cut him off at. Your only possession, you're a talking go-kart. You can probably get anything you want. Alright, so that's the end of Tiny for Creepy Castle. Let's teleport back to the ballroom now and get the hell out of the ballroom. I mean, this is... Yeah, this is, um... This is a ballroom, alright. Alright, now we're gonna get Donkey Kong, and we're gonna head over to the library. Because there was a library on the clouds. Yeah, right there, there's a library. But I, the door is closed, I'm gonna s gotta sp I gotta hit the switch. Here it is. There's an entrance right here, though. But I guess I, that's the exit, probably. And I have a time limit. Alright, so we enter the library. Ugh, fuck the homing ammo, man. All I gotta do is exterminator work to finish this off, right? What? What is this? I can't go that way? Oh. Books. Lots and lots of books. Did they really not restrict the music instrument again? See, I'm just gonna kill everybody now. Goodbye. That's easy, though. I... Alright, so there's a DK switch now. So now we head to the other half of the library. I was just there. And that should be pretty good, honestly. Uh... 
Okay, here we go. Yeah. There's too much crap happening for me to not need this. Alright, so I got in frames of invincibility now. Alright, everybody is finished off. Thank God. I find it hard to believe that that, of all places, was what was I was lacking, but I suppose it's better than nothing. Alright, so with that all said and done, we are finally ready to tackle the boss, but you know how this goes. I am going to not be doing that this episode. I'm going to teleport to it, and that'll be the end of that. Here we go. Alright, and with that said, I will see you guys on the next episode where we tackle this Nenonex boss. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you come back next episode.